I thought at our age, life would slow down. Not with everything we need to coordinate. My overtime, his basketball league. My podiatrist and her PT. His colonoscopy. Her allergist. We need to be in two places at once, which is no problem. Because the Iowa Clinic has over 40 specialties all in one place. So when our doctors want to coordinate our care, they just talk to each other. Our doctors work together to figure out the best care for us. So we can go back to our busy lives of juggling our doctors, our careers. Our grandchild. Care how you want it. Visit iowaclinic.com. What is up and welcome to another season of the Cyclone pregame show, the game day show here with CycloneFanatic.com on our social media platforms. You might be listening to this as well on the Cyclone Fanatic podcast network. I would encourage you to watch us most weeks as Maddie Van Winkle provides great graphics and we're add some of that to it as we continue to grow here at Cyclone Fanatic. You can watch us every week on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, basically anywhere. Front page of CycloneFanatic.com. Thanks to our clinic or our sponsor, the Iowa Clinic, as always for sponsoring pregame. And let's get at it. I like the top five lists to go over these games. SEMO, Iowa State, listen, a five touchdown favorite in this one. We're not going to break down the X's and O's. It's the first game of the season. I got five Cyclones who I'm going to have an especially close eye on for the season opener as I look towards the rest of the season. And the number one guy is, or number five that would be, is Colby Reeder, the linebacker. He is a Delaware Blue Hen transfer, one of the top tacklers in FCS a year ago. Listen, this guy has an NFL pedigree. Brother plays for the Los Angeles Rams. The reason I'm so high on him is basically – it's, it's based off of what you hear. It was the day he stepped on campus. Iowa State's coaching staff really started to fall in love with Colby Reader. Somebody told me the other day like that you're not going to notice a huge difference between him and Mike Rose, which is a really big deal. Mike Rose is one of the best linebackers ever to come through Iowa State. So I want to see him move around the football field, putting him next to Orion Vance. Be a really good linebacking core for Iowa State in 2022. Number four is a guy who I'm going to guess a lot of you haven't even heard of. It is Jeremiah Cooper, safety, freshman. Who? Yeah, so this is a kid. Again, it goes off of what you hear. And he has been turning heads like crazy during fall camp. I heard he's going to play a lot. I heard he might even be pushing for a starting spot and moving Anthony Johnson around a little bit in the secondary as he's the most vers- maybe the most versatile player on Iowa State's entire roster. But Jeremiah Cooper, his first college game, I think he's going to be out there a lot on Saturday. And I want to see all, all the buzz has been about with Jeremiah Cooper. Another freshman entering my top five guys to watch, and that is nose guard Dominique Orange. 350 pounds. Uh, It's not very often that you have a true freshman that makes a real impact on the defensive line in the Big 12 Conference. Orange is listed as a backup with an or next to him on the depth chart. Howard Brown would be a guy I would put right in there with him. I'm really looking forward to see. But again, you go off of what you hear. And I was told very early on that Dominique Orange was making an impact in the spring and also during camp. So, you know, my hope here, maybe we won't won't even see him. My hope is that Iowa State has a four-touchdown lead going into the third quarter, and we get into the two deeps, and we can watch some guys like this play. Learn a little bit about them. I think it would be a heck of a lot of fun, but I'm going to have my eye on the big man. Let's go to number two. A little more of a sexy position. That's at wide receiver, Dimitri Stanley, the transfer out of Colorado. Pushing to be one of the fastest guys on Iowa State's roster. And if he turns out to be what Iowa State hopes, can really make a difference for the offense in 2022. reason I say that, of course, you have fewer tight ends. Not going to use the tight ends as much as you have in recent years. And with that, well, you need more threats on the outside. And I really like, obviously, what you have in Xavier Hutchinson. And I think Jalen Knoll is bound to have a huge year. If Dimitri Stanley can step up and be 
you know, the speed demon on the outside for Iowa State. I think it opens up a lot. I think Easton Dean has an easier time as he moves into the tight end spot. Matt Campbell really likes him, had some good things to say about him in his press conference this week. Dimitri Stanley, transfer from Colorado. I will have my eye on you. And finally, listen, uh, this is the obvious one. Who are we going to be keeping our eyes on the most? Hunter Deckers. Quarterback. You replace Brock Purdy, most celebrated quarterback in Iowa State football history. I really like Deckers. Everybody at the program really seems to be incredibly high on Deckers. It's a different deal when you come in and relieve Brock compared to being the man. At a Big 12 program, a now proud Big 12 program that wins a lot of games and goes to bowl games. The torch has been passed. And let's see this young man. We've all heard a lot of Hunter Decker's hype. Brent Bloom's probably the biggest hype man that Hunter Decker's has at this point. We've heard it on the Sunday podcast. We're, listen, it's an easy answer that we're all going to be watching number 12 and seeing what he brings to the table on Saturday in the first start of his college career against Southeast Missouri State. I want to see him hit the deep ball. We haven't seen that in a long time at Iowa State. Again, I think you look at the offense right now and you go, how are you going to have success in the Big 12? Spreading it out more, going downfield more. Don't have Charlie Kohler. Don't have Chase Allen, right? No Brees Hall. You're going to have to, Iowa State's going to have to score quickly more often this year. And Hunter Decker's arm has to be the catalyst for that. I want to see how he runs the football, how much he runs the football. I just want to see what we're working with at the most position, the most important position on the field. Hunter Decker's is the man that I will be having my closest eye on, and I'm guessing 90% of Jack Trice Stadium will say the same thing. Thanks to the Iowa Clinic for sponsoring our game day pregame show. We appreciate it. Of course, you can listen to our pregame show, Jared Stansbury, Jeff Woody, and myself on 106.3 KXNO, three hours before kick on Saturday. Check out the Psych One Fanatic Podcast Network. We've had stuff all week long. Connor Ferguson doing a great job. Jared Stansbury doing a great job. We appreciate you guys. Matty Van Winkle producing today's program. Thanks to the Iowa Clinic for sponsoring Iowa State. I'll give you my pick. I know it's this is a little bit crazy. 56-7. to 7. Don't kill me. Going into this game bullish. I don't think this team's very good. I think Iowa State has a lot of hungry young guys who are going to see the field for the first time. I just think they outclass them. I think that this is a name-your-score type of game for the Cyclones. 56-7, that's the pick. Enjoy opening week, everybody.